this uh, we make a prawn soup then we can use a sea prawn tiger prawn or river prawn so if you use river prawn it contains a lot of roll on the head so when you make the soup it become look like a creamy because uh, all the roll is floating on the surface and look like creamy okay. but it's without cream okay and then we just keep <coughs> after we peel off the skin and then we just keep the head and the, uh, and the shell as well that is uh, for making stock okay then it's, uh, if you prefer other kind of seafood you can use as well but according to the type of the meat or other type of seafood then you just follow with the bones or shell of that kind of uh, meat okay then uh, we have straw mushroom if you can't find straw mushroom you can use a uh, like a uh, button mushroom angel mushroom snow mushroom so the one is light flavor don't take the strong flavor like uh, and also uh, can cause the color as well like a chicken meat. so that is a uh, too strong and also will be interrupt to the, the overall of the taste okay. and then we have the chili paste or we call chili paste uh, you can buy in supermarket called chili paste for tom yam or tom yam for chili paste okay you can buy from supermarket but if you uh, you would like to prepare by yourself like a homemade it takes you about half a day to prepare <laughs> but if you go to supermarket five minutes pick from the chill and pay <laughs> so what did you do did you make so that? this one is uh, con uh, consists of dry chili actually this type of chili but they make sun dry so the dry one uh, you can find the market as well okay so and garlic shallot garlic gel power rice dry juice tamarind juice fish sauce coconut sugar okay so then the chili garlic shallot garlic gel you have to cut into small pieces and then separate and put in the glider and after you just need to deep fry over medium heat and then you just uh, one by one and then after you just include together put in the grinder make a fine paste and after you just begin to stir fry in the oil over low heat until cook and then season with fish sauce tamarind juice and sugar and then you have to keep stirring all the time because it's easy to get burned in the bottom it's take time to <laughs> but it's very important also even you buy from the supermarket you have to know which brand or maybe you have to do a, from the beginning like an exp uh, experiment because some is too sweet some is too uh, sour or whatever or too spicy so that and for the Thai people we use the this chili paste for toast spread spicy toast so we use for spread on the toast. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You like to try for uh, morning uh, breakfast? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spicy yeah. one. <laughs> okay. yeah. Then uh, we have the seasoning with fish sauce and yeah. lamb juice. So this uh, from the recipe you can just <coughs> according to the fish sauce, if you use a different brand also you have to adjust because different brand also uh, different <coughs> Some is very pungent and very salty, and some is less. So this you can uh, you can adjust. And the lamb juice is according to uh, the season. If the summer time is very less juice and less sour, this rainy season is more juice and more sour. So this also you have to adjust. Now, time to make a stock. So if the good soup is must be from stock if you can get the good stock your soup is not very good taste okay. so we just use the water so no need to boil I mean just uh, don't need a uh, dead boil so you can add the prawn shell before boil so when you shell off you just rinse them and then you don't pour over because some water is underneath it's quite black color and also quite smelly <laughs> you just pick only the shell and put in the water
water. So before boiling. Why before boiling? Because uh, all the seafood is really, uh, the skin is really thin. So we need like a slow cooking to bring all the sweetness to come out. But the most important, okay, so after you adding all the gel, do not stir. Because if you stir, you will take all the liquid from the uh, gel to come out and then your stock will be fishy smell. The, the, the stock will be what? Fishy smell. Fitchy oh, fitchy. Fitchy. Because uh, raw seafood you can uh, smell from the raw. Yeah, it's from the raw you can feel the uh, fishy. So this is the same thing. Lamb leaf, we do not add this stuff so because it's sensitive. We just add the last minute. Okay, so we have to let the stock boiling and then we can stir them. Okay, just remember when we add, do not stir. Okay. So while we waiting for the stock boiling, so we just prepare all the <coughs> herbs to put in the soup. Normally you go to the lots of restaurants, so they serve you the herb always like this, or maybe it's a smaller, but it's always big chunk put in the soup. But once you having you see this one in your soup bowl or in the hot pot whatever and then you don't feel comfortable to have it because it's big chunk and difficult to chew okay so the best way is we have to make thinly slices why we have to throw away because this is very useful for your health so this is a kind like a medicine so what we are going to do Just make a silly slice and then you can have it all and you feel comfortable to have it. When you're having the soup and then you can't feel this like a, get something rough. So as I said, we just cut the bottom a little bit to give the space and then you can remove the outer skin. Otherwise when you chew you feel a rough.
once you cut and then you see the green color, just stop cutting. But all this you don't throw away, just keep for the next use for making stock. Okay, so all the part is, uh, you can take advantage from them. <coughs> If you need very, very thin, you have to <coughs> attach the knife as close as your finger, but be careful, don't cut it with your finger. So you have to concentrate the how height of the knife you have to lift it all. This, if you make very, very thin slice, you can make lemon glass salad. It's very nice. You just add shallot and some like the, what any kind of seafood or some meat also. Or uh, just bread also. You just add the sliced shallot <coughs> and uh, slice white onion and uh, also seasoning with lamb juice, fish sauce and sugar. Yeah, and cut chili if you like spicy and that's it very lovely it's, you can serve like a side dish okay now the stock start boiling <coughs> then we just keep simmering about five minutes okay to get more sweetness you can come to see the here as well So now boiling, we can stir them. Yeah. But we still uh, keep simmering about five minutes. Okay, so next, I just slice uh, some kalangkeo. So kalangkeo normally is a, is a round, round shape. So it's moving around, it's rolling. So you have to be careful. So the best way is just cut one part to be flat and then this can be stable, not moving. So if you make stock, no need to peel off. Okay? But when you consume for the soup, then you just peel off because it's quite a little bit rough. But if the young one if you get very young, so no need to peel, you just wash and then you can slide it with the skin as well. Is there a taste difference at all between the young and the more mature? Sorry? Is there a taste difference at all between the younger and the more mature? Yeah, actually if uh, the spiciness, when you have it raw, it's stronger. You can feel uh, it's stronger than, because when you cook, so the spiciness is a little bit toned down. By the heat. Okay, so now we can add coffee lamb leaf. <coughs> and then about 30 seconds or one minute. You 
use a peeler, be careful because the, uh, when you're passing the dot, the dot is quite hard. It might be stuck and can get injured uh, your finger as well. So be careful. Because it's, uh, all this dot is quite hard. <coughs> strain them right away. We don't leave them like this because if we leave them like this later on the color will be changed. It's more black color and green color also. The black is from the bone shell and the green is from all the herbs and will be all flavor. Okay, so we have to strain them right away. Back to the heat. 